How's it going everybody, Bunch of Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be continuing on with the Crown Zenith openings. I'm going to be opening this Regilecki V collection and the Regidraco V collection. Um, only eight packs in total, but anyways, let's get these unpacked. Okay, so there we are. First of all, here is both of the coast coat cards. Focus on this one first. There you go. And then here is the other one. Good luck, good luck, whoever gets that. So for the Reggie Draco collection, actually, you get the... You get a Reggie Lecky holo. I like this holo pattern, it's like the, the old, old Cosmo holo pattern. And a whoopsies! What's going on? And a Reggie Draco V, of course. And then for the Reggie Lecky collection, you get a Reggie Draco holo. And a Reggie Lecky V. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's put these over here. And of course, these, these two jumbo cards. Which is nice. I do like do like these jumbo cards. Pretty fond of them. And we have eight booster packs in total. This is from the Reggie Lecky collection. This is from the Reggie Draco. So let's see which one does better. But anyways, let's start off with the first one here. Let's see what we can get. I've seen a few posts mentioning that these boxes have pretty bad pull rates compared to the ETB. But let's see if that holds true. Go code card. Let's do three to the front. Flip over the energy, darkness energy. And let's see what we can get here. We've got a Salazzle to start it off with. A Dusclops, a Metang, coughing. Got an Oddish, very happy. We've got a Slandit, energy search. We've got, I think we've got a signed card. Yeah, we've got the Baya. Okay, nice. We got the Nessar out of the ETB opening. And we've got a Secret Wear Energy once again. This time, Metal Energy. Okay, well that was the first pack to start it off with. That's pretty good. Put these over here, there you go. Okay, Reggie Lecky collection. Let's see what we you can do in the first booster box. Or in the first booster. Excuse me. Go get them out. Here is the code card. Let's do... Three to the front, flip over the energy. Whoa, another metal energy. What do you know? Let's see, lost vacuum. So yeah, by by the time of recording this, I had hoped to be opening my Violet EX booster box once this video goes live, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. It's still still on transit. So it'll probably be next Friday. And oh my god, we've got the Ottoman! Holy moly, are you kidding me? We've got- and we've got a Rayquaza VMAX behind it! Yo, this is such a cool card. I really, really hope to have pulled this in Japanese, but having it now in English... Man, oh man, this is so cool. Okay, let me put the, the Rayquaza down. Put the Rayquaza down. Let's just look at the, the Adaman. This is such a cool card. You have Iskan here, of course you have Adaman, you have Arizu. This is such a cool card. And the counterpart, the Irida, like both of these are like top notch. That's amazing. You're you get a sleeve. You are getting a sleeve. Rayquaza over here, because the light is glaring. Nice! So the Reggie Lecky collection, which was this this pile right here, is currently leading in terms of pulls. But anyway, let's, let's see what else we can do here. That's already cool. That's already really, really cool. So you know I'm really fond of full art trainers. Focus, thank you very much. Sometimes it's having difficulties with the with the focus. Another metal energy. What's up with the metal energy? Okay, energy switch. Crocorock. Ultra Ball. Pancham. Snow Runt. Bonniert. Angela. Old toy. That's a pretty cool illustration. I've got the Apsil. The art rare. Very, very cool. And a Ditto rare. Okay. So that's pretty cool, the Apsil. I haven't pulled this before, so... Seeing it now... Let's look at this again. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like the I like the background, especially. Very nice. And Apsil, Apsil is, a, is a really cool Pokemon. So I'm fine with that. There you go, you're getting sleeved up. Probably should have sleeved up the Rayquaza. But anywho's... I still have a few videos planned in terms of... Um, 
you know, where to buy the, the cards the cheapest, because there's actually quite a difference between certain platforms. And I hope I get around to doing it um, at some point. Hopefully not too late. And the the prices, let's talk about the prices for for Violet EX a little bit here. No surprise. I mean, by the time of recording, no surprise there. The Miriam Full Art is about, it's like over $300 slash euros. So that's, well, that is Crazy Friends in Sinnoh and a Volcarona. And while that is crazy, I didn't really expect anything less. Because for some reason, every single female full art trainer, or Japanese one, I should say that, any female full art trainer in any Japanese set is getting crazy expensive. And that it, it sucks because the cards are cool, but I'm not going to spend 300 euros on, on a single card. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I might have done that before. But anyways, and then there's cards like the, like the lands which are just 5 euros or 5 dollars and that's completely insane because that card looks just as cool as the Miriam so there's that um, okay J Love actually did a really great video discussing it with um, with Primal Lugia in fact about the the cards getting pretty expensive I highly highly recommend checking out that video it's a, it's a really really good video I think he did like two or three of them on on the on the matter in fact so yeah really recommend like any of them if you really want to dive into into the um into the facts of why the the japanese female full art trainers are getting so expensive but any who's i'm still pretty excited to open violet ex once it finally does get here once it finally does it's gonna be amazing it is gonna be amazing, Tangela. We've got a... what's this? Oh, we've got a Lapras! Okay. Nice! We've got a Lapras and a Talros. Coolio, Coolio. There's also the Mew in here, somewhere. But I haven't pulled it yet. Which is kind of a shame, because I want the Mew as well, even though I already have it in Japanese. You know, more Mew cards can't hurt. That would be through the roof, pulling that art rare, a character, no, it's not even a character rare now, what do we call this rarity? It's just, it's a Galarian, Ga I'm just gonna call it art rare, because that's, that's what they were called in, in V-Star Universe, so let's just call them art rares. That, that makes it pretty simple, let's put these over here, there you go. And two booster packs left, let's see what the second to last one can give us. Gonna buy sharp, a purloin, rubbin, got a scrulp, helioptile, wooloo, just rolling around. That's a pretty cute illustration. Got an electric, and we've got an anamorous. Okay, so nothing in that one, nothing in that one, but hey, we still got one left. So let's see. Let's see. Now that one was very easy to open, which I would usually say means it doesn't have anything in, but maybe it's the it's the opposite. Packs that are very really hard to open usually don't have anything, so maybe maybe this one has the Pikachu, dude. Pulling the Pikachu, that would be that would be really, really cool. Anyway, Skirafarik. We've got another digging duo. Pinchurn. Got Tangela. Seeing a lot of repeats here, Baltoy. Got a Galarian Meowth, that's new. We've got a Whalmer, very happy. We've got a Shinx. And we've got a Poochien. I think we also have something behind it. I see something shining. Let's see, what do we have after the Poochies? We have the Charizard VMAX. Talk about a lost pack, dude. Talk about an awesome lost pack. We have the Charizard V-Star and the Poochiana. Let's sleeve up the Poochiana, you can go over here. This is actually from the, um, from whatchamacallit. From, from V-Star Universe, you can only pull this one in a god pack together with the other eight, like, um, what was it, Pikachu, and, uh, Riolu, and so on and so forth, I've forgotten the rest of them. But this is a pretty cool one, I, I like this, this is, this is a pretty cute Poochiana. 
But anyways, I can say this this has been pretty a pretty successful opening. We got the Ottoman, which is really cool. And we've got the Pucciana. Charizard V-Star. Like Crown Zenith is so much fun to open. It's it's it might just be as fun as V-Star Universe because you get so many amazing pulls. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos, maybe. And other than that, stay subscribed or subscribe to the channel um, to not miss any of my future awesome videos. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.